you both were unbelievable tonight. The Big Ten was called the Big Ten Network was calling you maybe the best guard combo in the Big Ten. And that's a pretty high praise. But the one thing I wanted to ask, you had that great first half, just like you did at College Park. What was what was the message? Because you kept the gas, you kept your foot on the pedal the entire second half and never let Rutgers in the game. Was that discussed at halftime, may I ask? Um, yeah, you know, uh, we talked about how we were up. We was almost up, I think, the same amount. Um, it was like 11 or 12. Um, almost the game. same score. It was almost yeah. the same score. Yeah, so we were just talking back and forth to each other. Like, we've been here before. We just got to keep our foot on the gas. We told each other that um, even if they make a shot, we can't let the crowd feel like it's an eight-point shot instead of a two- or three-point shot. So um, that was just, you know, what we were talking about. Our leaders got together. We just, you know, huddled everybody up and told them that we're going to finish this Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Covering the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Obviously, a big comeback or a big, a big you know, bounce back from what you've done the first time around against them. Wanted to ask about what the team was able to do with hassling Harper pretty much all night. What, what, what's kind of your take on how that I feel that was? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Keen's been guarding the best player every night. Um, you know, he takes pride in that. Um, I believe he's averaging like a lot of steals, too. So, I mean, he's just a really great defender. And um, we feel like if there's a best player on the team, then we could put our team. There haven't been a lot of games where you've gotten to see both of you or even two players really, you know, maximum speed, getting all the shots to land. Just talk about what it's feeling like on the court, seeing all the threes go in, just seeing everything kind of working together. You know? I like Rutgers. I like Dave Jones. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, well, for me, I just feel like we work really hard. So um, it's finally starting to show. Um, we have confidence in each other. So. We go out every night, it's going to be the same person. That for you personally, I think you had five threes since Christmas, basically. What was, were you feeling a little bit different tonight? Is there anything in particular that stood out? Did you feel a little close to home or something like that? Um, I mean, no, not really. I hit the first one, I just, it just felt good. Mm -hmm. And um, ever since I just kept going, you know, he yeah, was in my area to keep shooting, be aggressive, which he always is. And, um, you know, I coached that leaving us to shoot those shots. So, yeah, been really successful the second time around getting to play a lot of these teams. Just talking about, you know, this preparation change for you guys, you know, obviously you get the chance to see them beforehand, but you know they got to see you as well. So is there anything in particular you felt that impacted it for your side of the day? Um I think uh because we're such a new team, you know, we got a lot of guys coming from different places. And um, you know, some of them stay first time playing Big Ten teams. And I think, you know, now that you know, we kind of into the Big Ten schedule. You know, we in the midst of it. You know, guys get you know comfortable and familiar with it. So, uh, you know, playing Rutgers once, and then we, they kind of got a feel. Myself too. You know, it's a new team for them too. So, uh, we all just get a feel for you know the game and each other and stuff. So, they obviously had their comeback against you guys ten days ago. Yeah. What What can you make of the fact that they never they didn't get within ten? You know, this one kind of holding the bail almost all the way through up until that last minute or so. How happy were you? How you guys sort of handled that maturity loss or something? Yeah, I was uh, excited because, um, you know, that was something I talked to him about recently. Like, we usually used to coming back from 20 or, you know, mm -hmm. down from a, a, like, a long deficit. So I think um, the last time we played them was like our first time being up, you know, a big deficit in the first half. And then, um, you know, today we was up again. So I think we uh, definitely took a step forward. And I, 
Ryan McFadden. Hey, uh, this question is for either Fast or Eric. I just want to ask, uh, what do you have to say about this team fight with everything that's going on this year? What is What do you have to say about this team's um, willingness to go out each and every game to compete at the highest level, no matter what? Yeah, we just have, um, you know, a lot of guys that have, you know, that will to fight no matter what. Um, we showed that in games where we were down 20, 15, and we brought it all the way back to um, winnable game, <coughs> winnable game. So, you know, it's just kind of who we are. We don't want to be down like that to have the fight, but it just shows that we have, we actually had that fight and we're just going to keep going no matter what's going on around us or, you know, what's happening in the world. Julian Bassina. Uh, this is for Eric. Um, obviously, like the your three point shot, um, it seems like you're extending your range a little bit, and it's become like a new, bigger part of your game. Uh, is that something? Is that like a product of you feel like necessity for the team, or is that uh, something that comes from just confidence this year? Um, I don't know, man. That that one I hit the day, that was a deep one. That was a deep one. Uh, just confidence, though, pretty much. Um, just going with the game, going with the flow of the game, however it's coming, you know, just being aggressive. Katie Manginelli. This is a question for either of you guys. You guys are now 3-0 uh, and in rematches. What is changing from game one to game two, and why are you guys so successful the second time around? I mean, we want to win the first game, but, you know, uh, after the team beats us, we have that like that fight, like um, you said before, that we're not gonna let somebody beat us twice. Um, you know, that's just a testimony of what who we are as um, people. 